Um, my name is Faisal Hassan. I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm 19 years old. Born on the 13th of June, 1994. Um, how long have you been in Hangzhou and how much longer do you intend to stay for? I've been here for just about nine months and I'm planning to stay here for another three and a half years. Uh, how did you choose Hangzhou over any other Chinese city? Well, I didn't really choose it. I was just uh, told about this university and I applied there. And that's how I came. Were your initial expectations of life in Hangzhou met? Not really. I expected uh, a bit more action, like uh, not busy people around, but uh, more partying, more games, and there was adventures. So. Well, were your first friends in Hangzhou also foreigners? Yes, most of them. And how about now? Now I've got a lot of Chinese friends. Uh, I interact a lot with a lot of Chinese, so I have many Chinese friends. Um, what are the similarities and differences between daily life in Hangzhou and daily life back home? Uh, similarities, I train every day. Differences, I wasn't going to class back home. Doing that now. Actually, living life, I eat a lot more noodles and rice here. I used to eat rice back home, but uh, back home we have, I'm Indian, so we eat roti, and I haven't had any of that in the last four months. Um, how do you stay connected to um, your culture at home while in Hangzhou? Well, I Skype quite often with my parents, and then I, I'm in touch with them. Like, WhatsApp, pretty much every day. So yeah, I get to talk to them and uh, I don't really lose touch. Uh, is there a large community of people from Zimbabwe? Yes, we're about 100 plus. So uh, we're quite few at home. It's not really different for us. Um, on what level do you personally feel you've assimilated into life in Hangzhou? And why? Well, Hangzhou is quite easy to adapt to, especially when I, when I have so many uh, Zimbabweans with us with me. Um, the university that, that I'm at uh, is quite good with international students, so they meet our standards and our rooms have TVs and uh, international networks. So yeah, we, it's easy to uh, adapt to, to Chinese lifestyle. Especially because we continue, we, we have like a Muslim place, there's a few Western places around that we can eat at. So uh, you don't always feel like you're in China, you know, pressured by uh, the culture that you has. Um, how does the level of education here compare to in Zimbabwe? I would say the Zimbabwean education system is actually better. We follow a British system, and yeah, the system is a lot different. The students are pressured to work very hard and a lot is expected out of them and uh, we have many cases where students fall out they don't really progress as they should. So I would say that the Zimbabwean system is probably better. Um, did you have any family connection historically to China? In China? No, I didn't have any family connection. Just a few friends that I started with in high school.